How do? Um, so we've been contracted to um, swap the batteries out on this uh, from lead acid batteries to lithium. So this is a Polaris Ranger EV, and um, the batteries on this are just about shot. I gave it a run, and um, it's getting down. I don't know if you can pan in on the gauge here. It's getting down to to half on the gauge, but it doesn't go anymore. So the batteries have got about 50% before the, before it cuts out. And how many uh, batteries have you got in there and what size are they? So these batteries, are, they're lead acid, uh, 150 amp hour, but there's two sets of them. So effectively they're 300 amp hour. Yeah. And um, there's four batteries on each side. So that's, it's a 48 volt system. Um, yeah. So and what's going in to, there? And we're gonna put some 200s in, hopefully. Yeah, which will show the process as we go forward. So what, we'll put four 200s, which will end up being? Uh, yes, 200 amp hour equivalent. Yeah. So um, we've got 300 amp hour effectively in here now, but as you can see, you've got less than half the capacity at the moment. Yep. So we've done a bit of a speed test and um, we'll do an endurance test when we're done as well. Excellent. Ready, steady. This is a before and after lithium batteries uh, speed test around the building. So, um, 20 seconds so far. Here he comes. <laughs> 27. Here we see part of the problem, or, or the main problem here, which is, uh, which is, it's just poor design really. You know, like look at this, all, all this, that's, that's, that's two inches thick of, of mud and gunk around the batteries there. So it's eventually gonna cause the chassis to rust out on it. So we're just giving it a good clean at the minute uh, in preparation for putting the new batteries in. This is take two with Lithium. Morning. Hi. Okay, so we've done the conversion of this to lithium batteries and um, we just want to show you what we've done. So we've got a display here with um, some basics for the uh, batteries. Everything else just works the same. We've added this battery control unit box here um, and like a master switch for the um, battery control unit. <coughs> Underneath is where it gets interesting. So one thing, one thing we did do is, is this nice charging system. So the Polaris used to charge with this charger under here, which is totally useless for our purpose. The, the, the um, standard charger just doesn't work. At least not with our batteries. It tries to charge it up to like 60 volt. So we put a new charger in and we charge it up right here. Using this plug here, we can pull that out a little bit and it goes in the existing for the cap. And it sort of retracts on its own so that if you did drive off with it plugged in, it wouldn't matter? Yes, that's the main thing, particularly since we're on the opposite side of the driver being in Australia. Okay, tell us about the batteries. So, we pop some batteries in there. Yeah, you notice a bit of gaffer tape on there there that looks a bit agricultural. It's, it's just because um, to protect the, the batteries are reasonably sealed, but it's to protect the tops of the batteries because it's so open under here in the, in the Polaris 
It's, it's actually, I consider it to be a major design flaw. So, I missed that, you consider it to be a major design flaw? Yeah, yeah. yeah I consider it to be a major design flaw on the part of Polaris. I know, I know with lead batteries, you're supposed to have it open, but this is crazy. It's, it's almost like it's almost like every surface is designed to tip water and dust. And so you got a, you got a wheel there. Batteries. You got a wheel there, and it's just kind of kicking up dirt into the battery box. Yeah. With no. We did protection. we did plug it up with a bit of foam. You know, we just just again something simple. We we just installed the batteries and then uh, realised that there's a lot of gaps there, you know, for dirt and dust. And even here on the seats, you know, like it's, it's just designed, anything that, any rain, anything that water gets in here, it just tips straight down on top of the batteries. So, uh, so we sealed the top of the batteries anyway. Um, uh, and these are our lithium batteries. These are a 200 amp hour battery. So that's, that's actually replacing um, 150 times two. That's replacing 300 amp hours of lead acid, but the um, lead acid batteries are a lot heavier. Uh, the whole whole cart is lighter, it runs a whole lot better, and it's much more efficient. So uh, we figure that we're going to get better range out of the um, out of the, 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 the van with uh, 200 amp hour batteries. So it's it's a reasonably complex process to install because um, we have to protect against over discharge and overcharge. So we actually installed something in here, which doubles up on the handbrake input so that um, if you turn the battery control unit off and you try and turn the, the cart on the park brake comes on so you can't move it um, if, if, the, if there's any error or if the, if the battery management system is switched off which uh, is, is pretty much an essential feature with lithium batteries you know, because uh, it's, it's easy to damage batteries if you over discharge them yeah. <coughs> and we did one of these a few years ago, didn't we? With 300s in it? Or 400s? 300s. 300s, yeah. And yeah. we made a much uh, more comprehensive job of... of we, we, we rebuilt the battery box so that the, yeah. the dust couldn't yeah. come in, but the, the, there wasn't the time on this one or the budget. This, this time we're on a bit of a budget, so we're just trying to keep the cost down and keep it simple. So, uh, yeah. We've uh, just done it like that. Yeah. So we've got our own charger in there. It's a lithium charger. So that's just right around. That's just charger. That. And, that's the uh, power charger. Yep. And our own um, battery uh, management system. And uh, yeah, it goes like a train. So just by way of explanation about the batteries that we took out, there's eight of these monsters. They're 30 plus kilos each, maybe 40 kilos each. We didn't weigh them. Uh, and what we put in, was four of these batteries at 30 kilos. Four 200s. Four 200s at 30 kilos a piece. So, so you're replacing, oh, say they're 30 kilos, 250 odd kilos, maybe 300 kilos of lead with um, uh, four, three, 120 kilos of um, lithium. So that's a huge weight saving. And the cart drives a lot better because of it. Big improvement. Big, big improvement.